asymmetrical cars you probably didn't know about. It would seem that symmetry is an inherent feature of automotive design. In fact, it is. But it would be too boring without amazing mind-blowing exceptions, wouldn't it? Today we remember cars whose authors clearly didn't worship the gods of geometry. First on our list is the Plymouth Asymmetrica. Besides the fact of its existence and the intricacy of its forms, Plymouth Asymmetry is curious. For example, because it belonged to the famous master of the detective genre Georges Simenon, or rather his wife. The author of novels about Commissar Megret personally wrote a check to the body shop gear at the Geneva Motor Show 1960, making a gift to his dear wife. In fact, Asymmetric is the client's version of the concept car Plymouth XNR, created by Chrysler designer Virgil Exner on the chassis of the banal Plymouth Valiant. Model name, if to look closely, reads as Exner. And it turned out quite well, didn't it? Next Nardi Bissaluro car. Funnier than the appearance of this car is only its destiny. Built for the 1955 Le Mans 24-hour race, the Nardi Bissaluro was a catamaran car. The left side of the torpedo-shaped body housed the engine and transmission, with the pilot on the right. The Giannini's 735 cubic inch engine had not much power, only 65 horses. But the twin torpedo did not pretend to win in absolute. At most it was a success in its class and it didn't happen. On the fifth lap, one of the factory Jaguars overtook the Bissaluro so smartly that the Italian catamaran was caught by the air current and was swept to the roadside. There the race for the Mario Damante, Roge Crevetto crew ended. Number 3, Citroen TPV. The world learned to love the Citroen 2CV Ugly Duckling. Not at once, but it learned. Though, at the time of the model's debut at the Paris Auto Show of 1948, the appearance of the car was not ridiculed only by lazy people. It's interesting, what would the public say, if it saw the duckling, in its original form, the prototype of TPV, toute petite voiture, that is literally translated as, very small car. Assembled as if from sheets of roofing iron and an old garden fence, this Citroen sadly looked at the world with a single headlight. At number 4, the Renault 16. Wait a second, but where is the asymmetry here you ask? Popular at one time, Renault 16 seems absolutely proportional and symmetric from all sides. By the way, Vladimir Vysotsky himself drove such car, but be armed with a tape measure and you will quickly understand that the wheelbase of the car is different on each side 2720mm on the right side and 2650mm on the left. The reason is in the design of the rear suspension with successively located transverse torsions. Next in the queue is the Peugeot 404 diesel record coupe. As the pioneer of popularization of diesel engines in passenger cars, Peugeot has decided to prove with a series of record-breaking races, diesel engines are relevant not only for trucks. For this purpose, such stylish single-seat coupe, based on the sedan 404, was built. A lot of records were really set on it, but the main thing is that the car turned out surprisingly beautiful. What about sports options? STP Paxton Turbine. No one thought about beauty when creating a unique race car with a gas turbine power plant. All the STP Paxton designers thought only about how to cram this unusual engine into the chassis. The formula with the engine on the left hand of the driver was not nice, but it was fast. This beauty almost won the 1967 Indy 500. The key word is almost. Because 8 miles to the finish line, the penny bearing in the transmission failed. Number 7, Peugeot 309 Brake Hulies. Actually, the 309th WAD was born by accident. It was developed as Talbot, Arizona, but when the car was almost ready, PSA decided to get rid of the Talbot brand, and the novelty was launched under the Peugeot brand. And the photo above is the most interesting variant of the 309. 
The experts of the French body studio Hulies offered a design of a station wagon with two doors on the passenger side and one on the driver's side. It was a cool car, but, alas, it was not put into production. BMW X Coupe at number 8 on our list. At first glance, you do not notice anything of the kind in the contours of this 2001 concept car. Were there not enough ugly BMWs at the beginning of zero years? But it is necessary to open the trunk of this coupe, constructed, by the way, on the carriage of the BMW X5 Premium crossover, and at once you understand where the dog is hidden. Even without that, specific appearance of the concept with a set of jagged corners and strained conjugations finally shocks with asymmetric luggage rack. However, against a background of X7 nostrils, it is not so terrible. Who's next? Hyundai Veloster. Spacious four-door coupe is what the Hyundai brand proudly says about its quirky brainchild. An ordinary hatchback that jumps out of its pants to look at least a little bit like a sports coupe, the rest of the world dryly cuts off. In any case, the Veloster, with one door on the left and two on the right, is an interesting exercise in design. Certainly more intriguing than the Creta Elantra and Sonata combined. The much-hyped DSXE tents at number 10. When the imagination of the designers is not limited by any limits at all and a significant budget is allocated for the project, as a result you can expect both an absolute masterpiece and an absolute failure. In what coordinates between these extremes DSXE tents hangs, it is for you to decide. But French designers saw the ideal sports car of 2035 exactly this way, in which both people and autopilot are allowed to drive. And last but not least Nissan Cube. Typical car for those who do not like cars, but love geometry or cubes. In fact, the Cube was not always asymmetric, the first generation of the model under the Index Z10 was just a hatch with a high roof based on the Micra. Asymmetry appeared on the second and third generations and immediately became the main feature of the Cub. The cute and roomy Nissan has got fans all over the world, but even their enthusiasm began to fade lately. In 2014, the Cube stopped being sold in the States, and this December will be the last for the model on the Japanese market as well. So what do you say? Is asymmetry beauty or ugliness according to you? Please share your opinions in the comments, maybe you have a new favorite from our top. In any case, if you like this video give us some likes and subscribe to our channel. Thanks friends for watching. See you on the next episode.